This man is at the foot of a human chain that starts 40 meters above him. Down here, the lack of air is suffocating. Fresh air comes down with the empty buckets, which are made from giraffe hide. Water goes up, air comes down, hour after hour, from early in the morning till nightfall. In the hands of these men and women is the Barana people's very lifeblood. A break in the chain would have dire consequences for all concerned. Without a combined effort, no one would have any water. Physical violence is strictly taboo. It would threaten the very cosmic order. Were the peace to be disturbed, cooperation would cease. The cows would no longer calve, the wells would fall into disrepair, and the community would wither and die. The wells are the hub around which society revolves. Each well is presided over by an Arba Ella, a well father. But his authority extends over just one well. And before he can make a decision, he has to confer with his fellows. Every well is the property of a clan. The laws of inheritance and the amount of work put in determine how much water people are entitled to. The state of other wells or villages has no bearing on the volume of water in an individual well. This makes each clan self-sufficient, which helps to explain why Borana clans have never evolved into emirates, monarchies, or nation states. The community's existence is assured for one more day. Tomorrow, when the sun rises yet again above the African plain, a new band of workers would ascend.